Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Amigurumi Yoshi Part 3. So today, this video, they're making the Part B. We're gonna finish this face. We're making the eyes and the spikes and cheeks. After we finish them making the face, we're gonna do the joining the head into this body. And finally, we're gonna join the arms to the body. And uh, that's it. That is all for this part is the video. It's almost like uh, 30 minutes altogether with their making and the hits. Anyway, guys, let's continue working on Yoshi Amigurumi. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's finish this making this face and let's go. And now for the spikes with the red yarn in round one, Magic Ring will have six single crochet. Also, you can use the slip knot and chain two. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now close the magic ring, working on the spiral. And round two will have two single crochet and one decrease two times. We'll have eight points. One single crochet. Two. And one increase, and we will repeat one more time. And round three to four, eight single crochet, the same as the stitcher round. We're gonna have two more rows, except the medium size of the spikes. This will be last round, we'll have round three to five, which is the, the last round, we'll have round five. We'll have eight single crochet. And this large spike will be the next round. And the round five will have three single crochet and one decrease two times will have 10 points. One, two, and three, one increase. And we will repeat one more time. And the last round in round six, 10 single crochet, the same as a stitcher round, we're gonna have only one row. That's one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now finish off, cut the yarn and leave a short tail to stick in these spikes on the back. Take off the stitch mark and put some a little bit of stuff inside the spike. Do not overstuff it because I want to see this point. Now for the eyes with the white yarn, we will have only one round. Make a slip knot and chain four. Then two single crochet first for the next stitch, starting from the second chain. One and two. Then three single crochet in the same point. We'll have two more. That means we'll have one more repeat. That's the first repetition. Then two single crochet again. One. And two. Then three single crochet in the same point. It will be the last repetition. One. Two. And three single crochet in the same point. In the end, one slip a stitch. Then finish off, cut the yarn, and leave the long tail to sew it this eyes. For the other eyes, just cut the short tail. We'll need one more. And now we will leave the long tail. You can use the widney you know. You have to do it together to attach this eyes. If you want that using the crochet hook, that's fine for that then you can cut the long tail. I'm preferring you can use the wood needle to joining together with the eyes both, like, you know, into the needle. Don't worry about the white string because let me finish this one just a little bit close together. That means just like that, okay? And now let's work on the black eye P right in the middle of the center of the white eye. Now we can use the black yarn 
I got one and two, three, and four, at least five times you need that. You can see more black. And now we'll be right back for just a minute. Now let's work on the cheeks. Pay attention to look at this one. So you can see how I'm gonna do. Now we'll use the needle. Insert the needle right in the beginning. Just you can see that you have to connect this mouth to cheeks. Now go ahead, insert the needle right in the middle of that loop like this okay and now you can sew it over also you can do the down and under for a sew it point by point and stitch by point and point by stitch okay you have to go all the way around unless that uh, you have to put the put stuff inside just a little bit not too much do not overstuff it because it can't be Kind of look like a swollen cheeks. Just keep on going until we'll, we'll do it for the um, getting close a little bit closer to the mouth. Okay. Now let me show you what's gonna be the connecting the mouth to cheeks. Just watch this. Okay. Join the cheeks with the mouth all together, or whatever you said. It's about jaw. Now for another one. If you want that, we can have another one. Then we will finish. But we do not close the completely yet. You have to put the stuff inside just a little bit. Like I said, do not overstuff it because it can't be swollen. And now let's close all the stitches and all around for the stitches with these cheeks, okay? Keep going until you're finished. Completely closed. All right. When you're done completely close, now go ahead, you can tie this up to be secured and hide the yarn. Cut it off and then hide it. And that's it. So please, you have to do it yourself to make the, the cheeks. So in case that you just like to be the first cheeks I showed you already. We'll be right back in just a few more minutes. Okay, I finished this cheeks, so now I'm going to place the eyes right in this face, right here above the nose, okay? You have to use the, you know, once again. And then I'm going to place the eyes. Do not worry about the black thinging of the stringing thinging because I will take care of this one. For whenever you finish this the one of the head, you can close it together with that between is eye head. Okay. Let's keep on going. Just use your point by point all the way around. Okay. As much as you can, you have to sew it over point by point. Please hide it with the black yarn. Okay. Remember, you have to keep it covered from the black thinging strings. So we don't want to see the black thinging with the yarn piece of strings. So please take a cover everything entirely the black thinging threads. Now, once you finish this one, you can cut it off and just make sure these eyes need to be straight. Now go ahead, you can put some a little bit of stuff inside the spikes. Now pay attention to look at this one. This first spikes as goes medium size and the middle one that goes large. And the third one is also the medium. That's why I'm telling you that to show you the spikes, I'm going to join the spikes. I'm going to use the hot glue gun. I think we'll have round seven and six approximately. Now go ahead, you can paste it and place the medium spike. 
And the next one will have the large spike. It seems to be similar to the same size like a medium, but a little bigger. Now for the last one, I'm going to place it. Please be sure not to see the stuffing like that. Keep the cover of the red yarn. Also, we don't want to see the stuffing like that, okay? But place it for a little bit if you need that, okay? And now for the last part for making this face for Yoshi. And now we can cut it off. It's on their way. Now we will use the tiny bit of paste. Not too much. Because we're going to have a really small white gemstone. You have to go black eyes a little bit higher. And that's it. <laughs> Look at this one. It's so cute. <laughs> Love it. And now go ahead. You can join the head to this body. Remember, it's just like Bowser Amikurumi. Now go ahead. You can insert the needle right in the beginning of that one. And then you can go ahead and insert it into the body. You have to go next stitch, go up to the stitch head, and the next stitch, and then go down to the body and the next stitch. Pretty similar to Bowser and Mikurumi. That means that a little point on the head and it will take an entire stitch. Well, what we have a 24 in a one piece and 24 in another as the threads are making a progresses. Once you have it a little bit of halfway there, you can put the stuff inside just a little bit. Not that much. So this neck, it has to make it sturdy for a bit. The truth is that this neck looks very beautiful. I really love when it does that. It's always in make a straight. It won't get crooked down, as you promise. Now keep on going until you completely finished entire stitches up and down neck stitches, okay? When you finish the sewing and tire the stitches, now go ahead, cut it off. And now for the last step, we'll have this arms. I'm going to join the arm to this body. Now let me show you, I'm going to use the wood needle right now. I'm going to count goes one, two, and three approximately. Now go ahead, you can insert the needle. And then you can go ahead, you will do the sew it over. Like that, okay? Just keep it all still with this arm. Then first we'll do the upper arm. Just keep on going until this time we'll have this part of the round three. We'll have the stitch point by point. Just make sure these arms needs to be a straight for a bit. And now we're working on to under the arm. And another thing, this arms is a little bit better than the first one, just because this arms is got a little bit long arms. That means you like it. Like, you know, I hope you like this one. Just always get it secured and you will need finish off. And that's it. You can cut that off. Very easy, isn't it? Now I'm gonna do it by myself to make it. Remember, you have to do the round three approximately. We'll be right back in just a few more minutes. Then you already finished making Yoshi arms. And here's the result about the head and the rest of them and joining the head to the body and joining the arms. That was very good. I really love that one. Way better than the first one. I hope you like it. Well guys, that's it for today. I just got made it for this. I made those cheeks, eyes, and a spike. And the rest of them I already did for the neck and the arms and joining the body. And that's it. That is all for today for this video in part B. Now for the next video, I'm going to make the belly, tail, and the shell. This is going to be the last part for the Yoshi Amigurumi. If you haven't subscribed yet, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click on the likes. Subscribe, 
and share the video with your friends on below. By activating the bell, you receive the notification whenever I upload it, a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next part. Bye-bye!